guys, so today's video is going to be another installment of my series of the good and the bad and the ugly, but today's product is actually going to be face powder. I figured this is just a very universal product that everyone needs. I personally have normal to combination skin, so these powders kind of help for that, but I do think they are um, products that can be used with any skin type. The first powder I'm going to start out with is the powder I'm actually wearing today. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I am in the color beige, which is medium. So the way the powder is, all of these powders have bulky packaging, but that's all because it comes with a mirror. So you have your powder right here, and then you just slide, and there comes the mirror. And it comes with a little puffy pad, and so you could just slide it back. And this is very convenient if you need touch-ups or if your makeup is running, you have a nice little mirror right then and there. I do really like this powder. I believe it gives a very natural finish. Um, if you guys can see that, I would say it's more on the light to medium coverage. This color fits my skin tone perfectly right now. So I was kind of using um, the powder I'm going to show you next, and I wasn't really happy with it. So I did pick this up, and I really do like it. It's not sweat proof, so if it's a hot day outside, it is going to run a little bit. But if you just put a little bit of a setting spray, or if you just use a mirror and the little powder puff, you can just have little touch-ups here and there, and this powder works very nicely. Like I said, it's very natural looking, so I would recommend this for people who kind of have maybe a little bit of redness and they just need to cover it up. I personally don't really get pimples and blemishes all that often, so I'm not really sure how any of these powders hold up for that. I'd say the more coverage, the more the pimple is going to be covered. Overall, I really do like this product and I will be repurchasing it in the future. Another powder I have is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. I have the color Buff Beige, which is N4. So this is what the powder looks like, and then if you just lift down, it again comes with a mirror and a little powder puff thing, so that's very convenient as well. This powder, I would say, is more on the medium to full coverage. I do really like this powder, but I would say it's a little bit cakey, meaning if you apply it all over your face, you kind of have to blend it out a little bit. And it does say it's super blendable. I don't like the fact that I have to blend my powder out. Um, I feel like if I just take a powder brush and, you know, apply it to my face, it should be blended already. But I do say this is a nice powder. The color is a little too dark and muddy for me. I'm not sure if that's the powder or just the color I have. When I compare it to the Dream Matte Powder, this one just looks a little bit more, like, on the orangey side. I do like the way this looks on my face, but, like, this powder I can apply underneath my eyes, whereas this one just looked a little too orangey. So that's just my color choice. Because the powder is a little bit more of a heavier coverage, it does give a little bit more of a flawless face, but you can tell that you're wearing makeup. So if you're one of those people who likes natural makeup, maybe lean towards the Dream Matte Powder. A powder I have repurchased is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have 130 and this is in buff beige. All of my colors are in beige. This one is bulky packaging as well because if you lift it up, there's a mirror and a powder puff. I have repurchased this, but to be honest, I'm not really sure why. Um, I don't really know if I'm that big of a fan of this powder. It is very nice. I think this powder might be a little too light for me. Obviously, the color of the powder is going to affect how much you like it, and if you don't, if it's not matched correctly, then you're gonna probably tend to use a powder that matches you better. Now, this powder does have like a shimmery sheen to it. I wouldn't say it has glitter, but I would definitely say it has a little bit of a sparkly sheen, which can be very pretty if you use it in the right way. I do really like this for underneath my eyes. I feel like it's a very brightening powder. Again, it does have to do with the color, but the powder itself, because it has that little bit of a sheen, it definitely gives a little nice brightness underneath my eye. As an overall powder, I'm not really impressed with this. I would definitely say use the Maybelline or the L'Oreal ones because this one just didn't give as much coverage. I would definitely say this is light to medium coverage, even more so on the light side. Last but not least is this Physician's Formula. This is Mineral Wear Talc Free Powder, and the color is in beige. It's a little bit of a dome shape, and then when you lift up, it did come with a powder puff and a mirror as well. As you can see, I fully used this powder up. Of course, there's still a little bit around the edges that I wasn't able to get. Overall, this is definitely a full coverage powder. I have compared this to the MAC MSF before and I still stand by that. But this is a product that if you're trying to look natural, this one is not going to do it for you. This is, again, very full coverage, so you can definitely see that there's a flawlessness to your face that only came about because you have makeup on. 
I do like this powder because it's so full coverage, it can get cakey. So you do have to be careful with that. But if you just spray some MAC Fix Plus or even a setting powder, it kind of loosens that um, cakiness up a little bit. Another reason why I really like this is because it is talc free. I'm trying to wean myself off of the products that have like parabens and sulfates in them because those are just not good for your skin and your hair. So I'm trying to lean towards more natural products. Even though I wouldn't necessarily say that Physicians Formula is an all natural product, it is talc free, which makes it better than all of the other powders I just showed you. The ingredient talc has been speculated to cause cancer and breast cancer in women. It's just an ingredient you really want to stay away from if you can. All of these powders can be found at the drugstore, although the Physician's Formula is definitely more on the pricier side. I just looked at the back of them and they all have the same amount of powder in them. So you're not getting more just because you think this product is bulkier. This is how much powder you're getting. Don't let the packaging fool you. They are all the same amount of product. I'm just going to name the products one more time. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder in Medium Beige. I have the L'Oreal True Match in Buff Beige. Maybelline Fit Me in 130 Buff Beige. And the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Powder. For the most part, these are all great powders. It just depends what coverage you're looking for and also make sure you match your color rate because like I said, that will definitely have an effect on whether you like the product or not. But if I had to say my least favorite, it would definitely be the Maybelline Fit Me. I just don't like it when I apply it all over my face. For some reason, I just think it looks odd. So this is the one I would kind of stay away from even though I have repurchased it. Sometimes I find that even though I've loved products in the past, I don't like them when I use it again. Which makes sense because, you know, as you grow up, your skin changes, your facial appearance may change. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for more videos of the good and the bad and the ugly and also let me know what products you'd like me to feature. Although the majority of the powders in this video were good, I do like featuring bad products as well to kind of make you guys stay away from them so you guys don't waste your money like I did. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.